Hello YouTube, it's two zero brown mic. Today I'm gonna to show you Yesu VX eight. To start off with the VX eight is a tri bander, five watts, one watt on AM, five watts um on FM on six two and seventy. Uh, standard antenna. Uh, it comes with this bit at the top here, which you have to unscrew. Show this. Um, see, and you get this attachment here. Now, I ain't going to screw that on, but that attachment is for six meters. You screw that on so you can use six. Don't use six without it, otherwise the SWR will be over one to one. And um, you'll damage your handset output so don't do that I believe you can use 2 and 70 while that antenna's on as well so um, if you're going out and about and you don't want to carry these two bits you, you should be alright just putting that on and using all bands um, so remember to put that on when you're using 6 okay so um, overall this is a nice little uh, nice little radio I'm just going to switch it on here. Uh, see what we've got. Um, I could set it up for APRS. Uh, this this particular one doesn't transmit out of band, as I'll show you. So I'm um, just stop that from the thing. So that's good. Um, I can show the APRS side of it. Now, sadly, I don't have the antenna for, uh, sorry, the GPS antenna, because you have to buy a special attachment, and then you have to uh, have the GPS antenna. Or you could buy the microphone and have the GPS antenna. The GPS antenna is about £60, and the little attachment's about 20 quid. So you're looking at about £80 for for GPS. So at the minute, I've just set my, I've just set my normal... Uh, longitude and latitude, which is my home address. So we're going to go into menu here. You don't really have to see this menu. I do apologise for the camera quality. And you go to menu number number four. So I'm just going to scroll down here. It takes a few seconds. You have to scroll with that button at the top. Okay. Oh, and um, don't do what I just done. Get in the right menu. Just tap the menu button and then hold it in. There we go. Uh, right, you turn the APRS modem on to 12,000 BPS. Um, that's what the APRS is at. Um, you go to station list, and I'm really sorry about this camera, but uh, the last one saw was G4MRS-2. So I'm just going to go in here and just set my beacon to 15 seconds so we can show you it transmitting the beacon. So, that little noise you just heard there means it received a packet. Okay, so we're now going to send a packet. Now, to start sending, you press the mode button once and you'll get like a little sort of. I'll show you. Like, see that little top left? You see, like, like, it's like a little aim sign. Just hold it up. Our local DigiP is only up the road, so it should be okay. You'll see B B band. This light here will light up red. And I don't know if you noticed, but let me just turn the beacon off. I don't want to beacon out any more than that. Um, you see, I came back to zero BMI dash seven. That little noise um, with the three little bleeps means that it's your own packet just come back to you. And you can see if I press. Uh, the band button that would take me in and tell me where I was. Um, obviously, because I haven't got GPS here, it can't tell you what speed I was going or anything like that. But it tells you all the messages and that. It's a great, it's a lovely little rig. I mean, I've, I know there's bad reviews about it on the internet, but overall, this radio is a very nice radio. Um, the only thing is the battery that comes with it is not fantastic. It might last you about four or five hours on receive on APRS so I hear um, and really you should 
Should I start local repeater? Uh, or one of them anyway. Yes, um, if you do get these, get the extra battery. I'm going to get the extra battery before I get the GPS antenna. As you can see, we just received another packet, G8 RZZ-9. As again, apologise for the video quality. I know it's not great. So anyway, um, hopefully in future videos you'll see this radio being used as a cracking little rig. It's a very nice little rig. And um, also keep a look on Echolink if you are active on Echolink and look for um, MB7IJC, Mike Bravo 7, India Juliet Charlie. Um, that uh, will be, it's not on yet, that will be the 6 metre link in Norwich. Hence what, another reason why I got this radio. Um, and uh, that should cover the uh, the whole of uh, Norwich and um, a lot around it anyway. So it should be quite a big uh, footprint. Uh, 10 watt CRP uh, with an antenna. It's about 7 metres up. So uh, please listen for it. I'll let you know when it's up and running. Okay, YouTube 7.3. Thanks for watching.